Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I wanna answer three questions for you. What is a Victron MultiPlus? Is it worth the price? And is it right for you? Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. Check us out online at whynotrvusa.com. We're also now on Patreon at patreon.com backslash whynotrv. And we have an amazing Facebook group that is growing very, very quickly. So come join us on Facebook. It's just Why Not RV on, under Facebook groups. But I'm gonna put a link in the description below for all those websites. Let's jump right into it. Question number one, what is a Victron MultiPlus? This is a Victron MultiPlus. There you go. Um, it is a mysterious electrical blue box of wizardry and sorcery that creates the best overall inverter charger experience you can have in an RV. Um, a Victron MultiPlus is a battery charger, just like your converter is. It has power assist, which I'll talk about that. It's a pure sine wave inverter. It is capable of doing parallel, which means you can connect mul multiple of these together. It's its own transfer switch, and it can also make three phase uh, capability. So a Victron MultiPlus is more than just an inverter. Um, if you're looking for an inverter for your RV, the Victron MultiPlus is more than just an inverter. It is, it is an inverter-converter combo. It has the power assist feature, and it is just an amazing, amazing piece of technology. Now, Victron, um, they're over in the Netherlands, and they make a lot, a lot of different electrical products, mainly for um, boat and marine use. Now, of course, 99% of that stuff is also applicable in the RV, um, just because we're mobile, just like the boats are mobile. Um, there's a few things that they make that are boat specific, but we're not going to get into that today. So a Victron MultiPlus, you know, the inverter charger situation, it's just amazing. It really, I, I absolutely love it. Um, let's, let's, we're going to come back into some, some more detailed stuff at the end of the video. So let's just move along. Is it worth the price? A Victron MultiPlus like this is around $1,200. Uh, I think they, they range anywhere from like 1100 to 1400 for um, some of the, the regular models. Um, they do go way up in, in, in price when it comes to higher volts or higher watts and more capability and stuff like that. But for a regular 30 amp or 50 amp trailer, if you're just trying to feed one leg of power, about $1,200. Um, the MultiPlus 2, which is a newer version, it has two uh, AC outputs that this also has two AC outputs, but it, one is for all the time and one is for only when hooked into shore power. The MultiPlus 2 actually has two legs of AC out coming so that on a 50 amp RV, you can have both of your legs of power running all the time off of just one MultiPlus. Whereas right now with this MultiPlus, aside from me actually just bridging um, my uh, main panel inside, um, it's only capable of feeding one leg of 120. So is it worth the price? To me, 110%. Um, I use this thing all the time. It is an amazing, amazing piece of technology. It has made life so much easier on the road when it comes to the solar aspect of everything, how we use electricity on the road. You know, when I first got on the road, we had installed a regular inverter. I'll go ahead and link uh, my video there for, for what I did originally, because um, that's all I thought that I needed. Um, it was very, very quickly, only about three months on the road of, of um, you know, kind of full timing that we realized, wow, I want a lot more capability out of my inverter. And I did a lot of research to find the Victron MultiPlus, what it does, what it's capable and why I wanted to go with it. Question number three, is the Victron MultiPlus right for you and your needs and what you want for your RV? Now, an inverter, you know, you're probably watching this video because you're looking up inverters and what's, you know, what's the best inverter out there, stuff like that. This is definitely the best inverter out there. It, to me, it is it is the number one piece of technology um, on the market available to the consumer. It's right on Amazon. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Now, is it right for you? Well, ask yourself this. What are you going to be using your inverter for? If you are just going to run, um, say, like a CPAP machine or air purifier or just watch some TV at night, just like one little thing, um, you really don't need something this intense. Now, what the Victor MultiPlus offers is when I disconnect from shore power, it literally transfers from, 
having the shore power, it transfers to the battery and inverting immediately, so quickly that nothing turns off. I could be microwaving something, I can unplug from shore power or lose power for whatever reason, and the Victron Multiplus immediately takes over. The microwave doesn't stop. It just, it, it's as if it never lost power. Um, same thing with uh, computers and TVs. They don't turn off from the switch from shore power to inverter mode. Um, it, it happens so quickly that it does not disrupt electricity whatsoever. To me, that's an amazing feature because I'm, I, I have a little bit of OCD. I like the clock set on the microwave. <laughs> Every time you lose shore power and you go rehook up, you got to reset the clock on the microwave. With this, it never disrupts. <laughs> now, no, that's not the reason to buy a Victron MultiPlus, but it's just just to show you, you know, its capabilities of how quickly it transfers that electricity over. Now, let me talk about the power assist feature in this thing. So, uh, I do a lot of mood shocking and boon boondocking, and let's say uh, I go to an RV park that either only has 30 amp or I just don't want to pay for 50 amp, even though it's an extra five bucks, whatever, no big deal. I don't need it. I don't need the 50 amp because I have the, the multi plus. So I'll pay for 30 amp and I'll tell the multi plus, hey, I'm on 30 amp. Only pull 30 amps of power from the pedestal, from shore power. The rest of it, it will make up from pulling from the batteries. And it's the same thing on, on, on 15 amp. If you're mooch stock and you're at a friend's house and you're on a regular wall outlet, you know, 15 amp wall outlet or 20 amp wall outlet, you tell the multi plus, hey, I'm on a 15 amp or hey, I'm on 20 amp, whatever it is that you want to tell it, do not pull more than this amount of power, it won't. The rest, it will power assist from the batteries and invert the rest. And that technology of how it's pulling from both shore and adding from the batteries is just amazing to me. Uh, that's why I call this little thing a little blue wizard because it really is a magical device. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Now in our next RV, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit more than just the one multi plus. Um, it's going to be a lot of, I'm going to do a whole series on that, but it will involve two multi pluses, most likely two auto transformers, um, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, DC to DC converters. I'm going 24 volt instead of 12 volt. I mean, it, a lot of stuff's coming coming down the pipe. But in terms of the Multi Plus, it's just absolutely amazing. Let's talk about the fact that it's a pure sine wave inverter. When you're looking at inverters, you do not want a modified sine wave inverter. A modified sine wave, modified sine wave inverter will damage electronics. It is not good for electronics. It basically creates like this. That's how it creates its wave. A modified sine wave is little blocks, okay? That's what it does, up, down, up, over, down. A pure sine wave is just like AC power, just like when it's coming in from, from the shore power, and it's this nice smooth, just like that, smooth. That is a pure sine wave inverter, and that does not damage electronics. It does not hurt your computers, your TVs, anything like that. So you, no matter what you want, a pure sine wave inverter, do not, try and short yourself and get a modified sine wave inverter, uh, it's just not worth it. Now on the opposite side of the inverter, you have the charger. Um, so in your regular RV, you already have a charger, it's called your converter, and that's taking the 120 volt AC power from shore and it turns it into DC power and charges your batteries, maintains all the DC stuff inside your RV. So with, with this particular model, it's a 120 amp charger, means I'm capable of charging 120 amps DC into my batteries. Now for me, with a huge battery bank, I'm almost at a thousand amp hours of battery. That's amazing because it'll charge my batteries very, very quickly. Um, do you need that much power? Absolutely not. Which is why you can program this thing in its settings. You can tell it exactly the max charging you want. If you have a smaller battery bank and you want to charge it a little bit slower so you don't damage your batteries, you can easily do that. You go right into the settings. It's very simple. That's a whole nother video. I think I actually have a video about Victron settings. You can check it out right here. And uh, if I, um, didn't go over it in that video. I'll probably end up going over it in one of my future videos with the new setup. Um, or just shoot me a comment, drop a comment below and I'll, I'll gladly try and answer your questions there. But the charger aspect of it is amazing because while you're on shore power, um, it's, let's say we're doing the power assist thing, right? And I'm on 15 amps. Let's say inside the RV, I'm only using seven amps at the time because I'm only watching TV and a couple other little things are on. Well, that seven amps will be used for whatever's inside. Then the additional eight amps that's remaining out of the 15 I told it, it'll use that to charge. So it'll use 
whatever you tell it to, to charge. Now, if you don't have the available power and you go over the 15 amps and it starts drawing from the batteries, that's what that power assist feature does. And as soon as you go back down to below 15 amps, boom, now it starts taking and charging right back into the battery. And that whole thing of how it does all that so, so smoothly, uh, I mean, it's like electrical butter. It is just smooth, smooth, smooth. No disrupt, uh, no, nothing is disrupted at all nothing is damaged it's just it's an amazing amazing piece of technology now uh, again the multi plus two with it's called like multi plus two two x 120 um, has two lines of 120 that come out of it for a 50 amp rv um, if i if, if that model was out when i first put this one in i would have put that one in instead so i'll, I'll tell you that right now uh, and the reason for that is because it would have been able to feed both legs of power off of just one multi plus the way I have this set up, it's just feeding one leg of power, um, which is okay for this RV just because my other leg of power is literally my electric water heater, which I don't want running off batteries anyways, my living room air conditioner, which if I need it, I run my generator for that, um, the fireplace, which again, I'm not gonna run <laughs> the fireplace off a battery, and the washer dryer. So those four things are really all that's on the other leg that the Multiplus is not, um, putting power to. So Multiplus puts power to all of my outlets. It puts power to my bedroom air conditioner. It puts power to um, the fridge. Um, I mean, literally everything else except for those first four things I named, um, it, it puts power to. And so I'm always, 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 always have power in the RV. It's never disrupted. So today when we, when we hook up, I'm going to go disconnect electricity and it's already taken over. It's already, it's already going to, you know, automatically switch over and run uh, everything inside the RV. And that to me is just amazing. So let me try and think of uh, a, another good example of why Multiplus might be right for you. So a lot of people uh, use an inverter for very basic things. And if that's, if that's you, if you only need it for a few very basic things, Multiplus is probably not right for you. But if you want to have unlimited, um, capabilities out of your inverter and power half your panel or your entire panel and power everything in the RV through your inverter, this is the easiest, smoothest way to get that project done. It is hands down the best piece of technology when it comes to that kind of operation. Um, there are other things that do this that, that same type of thing, but the Victron Multiplus is just amazing and they have great support online. Um, there's so many different uh, forums out there with answers and so many YouTube videos on it. And uh, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos in regards to the Multiplus just because the next RV is gonna involve two of them in parallel. Um, it's gonna be pretty intense. So if you want your inverter to just take over immediately, if you want your wife or girlfriend to be inside doing your hair while you guys are getting ready to hook up and you have to go inside and say, hey, hey I'm disconnecting power. You know, you don't wanna to have to do that anymore. The Multiplus is right because while she's doing her hair, I just disconnect power and it just keeps on going. It just starts pulling from the batteries immediately. She doesn't even know that it ever lost power. Uh, it, it's just ease of life um, with Multiplus. I absolutely love this thing. Now there's there's a lot of extra stuff with a Multiplus that you can get, but you don't need, such as the Serbo GX so that it's all online. Uh, you know, a battery monitor, the USB dongle. Um, there is a Bluetooth dongle right here, but I can't see. Um, but you, you don't technically need any of that stuff. Um, all you really need is the Multiplus. The Bluetooth dongle is really, really helpful just because right there on your phone, you can pull up the Multiplus and program certain things, turn it on, off, um, tell it what amperage you want to pull out, stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it on the Victron Multiplus. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. Shoot me a direct email. You can go right to my website, whynotrvusa.com. Um, shoot me an email. Come join us online at our Facebook group. Uh, it's just Why Not RV under Facebook groups. But uh, other than that, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.